those old tail lights. Hmm. Well, those aren't gonna work. We're gonna need a new design. Hmm. All right, let's design those new tail lights. All right, so we had some LED halos before. What could we do to make it better? I don't know. Maybe we could involve a mirror, two-way mirror, some LEDs. Maybe we could use like some of these 144 LEDs and a meter. I don't know. Use some controllers, or such. Hmm. I have an idea. We'll just sketch this out here. Should be real simple. We'll just do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and uh, yeah. So we'll just give this to a friend that has a 3D printer, and he will make it. Hey friend with a 3D printer, can you make this for me? Yeah, sure thing. Super simple. I can make this in no time. Just gotta design that up real quick, and print, and they're going. Alrighty, so we have everything printed out. It's already been fully assembled. I'm gonna go through it uh, So that way you can kind of expect what's gonna be in the video. This is gonna be the more important crap I'm not very good at doing how to's but I can show you what I did and so basically First issue we had to design what or design was the housing. So what we did is we have we, we produced the first housing originally I was just gonna glue one of these onto the front probably would have worked probably wouldn't look very good then we kind of came up with some ideas we went through a couple different iterations i didn't show any of that this is the final one that we came up with like like here's like the first version we ended up adding on ears so i could mount them and like mounting the back piece and stuff um so how this goes together we have this started out as a clear piece of acrylic like so Started out like this, cut out a circle, then rounded it with a flat or like a, a sanding thing. So started out like that, and then use some two-way film on the back side, and then I have some just some normal car tint from a Walmart. I believe this is thirty-five percent, which it is. I can believe it is, and that is on this side. So what you do is you take this. This is the front cap. This guy goes inside of here, like so. It gives you a nice, clearing, cleanish appearance. I mean, you can tell it is 3D printed. Um, we did use, I think it's PETG. I could be wrong. Um, I'll correct myself on the screen if I was wrong. And then this guy just slides right over the top, like so. Pressure fit, too easy. Like, literally nothing needs to really, it's all pressure fit. Nothing's really glued together. Um, I might do it later. We'll see. And then on the back side, we have just this normal mirror. It's a one-way mirror. See? Hello. Look at me. Talk to the camera while looking into it. Um, so yeah, just this guy. And then we have the back plate, which is recessed enough for this to go in. Another precious fit. It's snug in there. Like that. And this guy... I had to notch it for where I mounted my screws for the old style. So that guy goes on there like so. Just like so. And that's a completed housing. And then all you do is you just 
push it in and that's it flip it around we'll look at this side because this is the side that's not messed up from sanding but yeah so there's the the finished product and uh continue to watch the video you'll see it at the end of the video being used and all that good stuff all righty so we're gonna start on the tail panel um i've already went ahead and pulled this one out obviously this is broke so we're gonna fix that and uh yeah so i just got this one bolted it should just pull right out um so yeah i have a pile of leds right here uh five volt uh, 12 volt to 5 volt converters and uh rgb controllers i don't really know what they're actually called but so we have three of those three of these and four meters of these so and here is what we're looking at so i've already gone ahead and done one side even though you can see through here um let me uh, turn around the camera and I can show you what we have to look forward to. Alrighty, so this is the new taillights, essentially. This is not done. This is just the mock-up process, but this is what we're looking at. But yeah, so we're going to be able to do all sorts of fancy stuff. If you have like the auto here, we got all sorts of fancy shit this thing will do. So, without further ado, let's just get right into this and... Uh, Turn down the brightness so that way you guys can actually see what's going on. So yeah, let's uh, get right into it and uh, make the rest of this tail panel and get it all working and get it on the car. Alrighty, so I got one side done. This is just the running lights for right now. But uh, yeah, so we changed out. Um, we had some of these, which are 60 LEDs per yard. And then with this, some of these, which are 144 LEDs a yard. So, quite a bit more. So you can tell there's freaking five LEDs in the space it takes to get two. So, but yeah, looks way better. I like these. Um, so this is just the running lights. I have the running lights to the front. Um, and then we'll do the brake lights in the behind. Um... So now all we got to do is get those wired in. So let's uh, work on getting those done. That side is fully wired and pretty much done. Um, and everything's routed over to here because this is where the plug is, um, which is right here, which I have to figure out what does what again. I don't remember. I believe black is ground, brown is running, and then yellow and green are going to be directionals. Because that's usually what it is, I do believe. I believe I kept it that way to be smart about it. And then, uh, so basically I'll connect all the grounds off of these 12-volt uh, to 5-volt converters. And then the, they'll get connected to the one ground. And then, say it's the driver's side, we'll connect it to the driver's side. Uh, 5 volt positive so that way when you turn it on it's sending it's completing the circuit and it'll do the back or like the running lights the brown wire will be the running lights it'll come on and it's all the front leds so those are actually the running lights already done so right now i'm working on soldering up these two i gotta attach wires onto these um and then these ones aren't labeled but this one is so like these ones say five volts the um and then the color, the green one is like the signal wire, basically. And then ground. Um, same thing on this one. It kind of shows the positive there and the negative. And then the green wire goes in the middle. For the controller, which are these guys. There's the, right there. So the green wire and then red will be power. And then the white is ground. You can also read that on here, I believe. Even though it's kind of backwards. But it works that way, I believe. Yeah, it does. So, just got to pay attention, I guess. See what works. Be careful. Don't put 12 volts to any of these style. Uh, the WB, whatever. It'll kill them. Then they're dead. And that's unfortunate, especially because, like, these 144 LED, or a meter of these 144 LEDs was, I think, 16 bucks, I believe. 
So don't want to be killing those. Um, but yeah, so let's get that done. And then I'll be able to get this thing wired up out in the car. And then we can finalize the wiring. And then all I have left to do is pretty much, uh, I'm probably going to just silicone all of these guys in. And then we're done. So let's do that. Alrighty, so this is kind of what it's going to look like. Obviously, it's not fully finished. We're going to have to paint it. But uh, yeah, so let's... Uh... Too easy. Then uh, there's the right blinker. Um, so as you can tell, it uh, it flashes kind of funky. It takes a little bit for it to load up. Uh, so I actually ordered an adjustable uh, flasher relay. I should hopefully fix that. Here's the left blinker. Got to make sure it works. Hey. Well, I don't know if works yet is the brake. Oh yeah, she's working. Oh, well, there's the brake. Now we can adjust it so that way. So these ones are on, so it'll actually adjust these. So say I'll set these to green for sake of that, and then if I hit the left blinker. It should still be red, which it is. And if you can't see it, there's the right one. So if it's not on, I can adjust it. So essentially I could do red and I can probably dim it down a little bit. So that way when I, you know, actually do the brake. So that way when I step on the brake, it actually sticks out a whole lot more, as you can tell. So it actually sticks out a lot. So, not too shabby. Um, I guess we'll uh, get you guys a little closer and we can do some fancy stuff. Alrighty, so you can get a Wi-Fi version of this, but this is what I actually have to do with. I had the Wi-Fi one, I didn't really like it. But, you know, if you hit auto, it'll cycle through all the really fancy ones. And again, this is just adjusting the running lights. The normal braking lights will be the fine. This is literally stuff that I can only do while, you know, you're parked in a parking lot because stuff is highly illegal. Um, so I'm almost, I looked at all the laws on it. I'm pretty sure they're still illegal. Um, but uh, luckily we drive everywhere in Mexico. Um, the main thing is it has uh, tint film on it, which would be the the issue is the the film um the other one would be whether you can see it from uh 50 or 500 feet away or something like that i think you should be good for that one um but uh yeah so i mean it's got all sorts of stuff we can speed up the the animations so we can so we can see all the fancy animations pretty sure there so you can adjust the the brightness whether you want them dim or if you want them really bright, um, <clears throat> different speeds. And then you can do static, red, green, blue, real easy down here. Oh, and white. Ooh, one more thing I wanted to show you guys. So, say I set it to green. All right, just set it to green. And then we come in here. Shut it off. It's off. Then we turn it back on. Turn it back on, and they're still green. So they save what they had been set to. But uh, yeah. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully this guy gives you some insight into how I made them. Uh, they turned out pretty dope, I think. Uh, you guys know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. And hopefully maybe I'll be able to do some more of this fancy LED lighting because I really like it. So, all right. Later, guys.